if you have a really exciting setting for your story, but but um, you can't make it come to life because it's too old fashioned, it, then you don't have a story. Now for me, Seven Wonders, I always wanted to write about them because I, my family comes from Greece and I visited the sites of some of the Seven Wonders and I started getting interested in it. But I thought, well, you know, they're just statues. You know, they're awesome, they're tall, and they're amazing, but I don't really know how to make them come to life, right? So um, then when I was in Greece, I also started getting interested in Atlantis, the continent, the, the, the legendary continent that sank beneath the sea. But my problem with that was everybody's written about that. You know, what do I have? Some, what do I have to say that's new about something that a million people have already written about? So one day, I started with a story. I started with a story about kids who were isolated on an island in the middle of nowhere, and they didn't know why they were there. But the problem was, I didn't know why they were there either. <laughs> And I kept trying to think, what, why would they be here? Why, why did their parents let them get, who are they? How do they, what do, what, what do they have in common with one another? What makes, what makes this story, I couldn't come up with it. And then I began thinking about other things that I hadn't really written about that I always wanted to, like the Seven Wonders and, and, the, uh, and, and Atlantis. And I began to come up with a connection between all three. And all of a sudden, I had a story. You know, these four kids, um, each of whom have something in common. They're the last descendants of a prince who escaped the sinking of Atlantis. And he took with him seven magical objects that he hid in the seven wonders of the ancient world. And for doing it, he was cursed. And now all these years later, these kids have inherited some from him. It's a great quality and a curse. It's a genetic condition that takes whatever you are already good at and magnets it into an amazing superpower, just that thing that you're good at, just that one thing. But no one who's ever had it has lived past the age of 14, because that's the curse. And all these kids are 13, and they have one year to live. But it turns out on this island, there's a group on the cure, and they realize that if these kids find these seven magical objects that the prince hid, the seven wonders of the ancient world, and bring them back, they will be cured. And they'll also, as it turns out, save the world. But of those seven wonders, only one of them still exists. So, how do you bring back to life six ruined wonders in order to save your own life? So that's where the story began. And then I began thinking of the, th of the four characters. And if each character has a different talent, a different superpower, you know, one is athletic, one is an incredible tech genius, another one is like a human GPS. You know, you ask him, how do you get from Toronto to San Diego? And he, you know, or to Manila, right? And he will tell you all the roads and all the ways to get there in his head, right? So when I began giving them talent, all of a sudden, their personalities began to come forth, 